Mm. What's that? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I'm Willie. <laughs> Williams, that is. Hey, sugar. <laughs> Call up with you, baby, in the name of the father. Yeah, they did. They said a woman had them took a hundred thousand. $110,000 from church, from a church bank account. That's what the deputy say. Now, this they store, so we got to go with they store. Um, oh, please remember, go to the willowwilliamshow.com. Check out a few things. Pick up a T-shirt, some bag, pillowcase, anything like that right there. Please go um, to the Patreon of the Willow Williams Show if you'd like to see the event video. That's what's up. Out of Columbia, South Carolina, Richland County deputies have arrested who they say. See, this is what they say. <laughs> Took over 100000 from a church. Back in April, mm-hmm, somebody pray for the baby. Um, back in April, deputies respond to a call at a TD bank uh, on, on Forest Drive about bank fraud. Employees say that 40-year-old kids at Davis, baby, they say you 40. <laughs> Don't play with me. But that's what's up. Claim that she needed to have power of attorney over a relative's account. The relative's is a member of Shalom, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Shalom Baptist Church, and also had access to the church's bank account. You know, because they trusted her in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's what's up. They felt like she was saved and sanctified. Deputies say with the power of attorney, Davis transferred more than $110,000 into her relative's account. She 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 then took about forty five thousand of the money for personal reasons. The money was taken out of the account um, through an ATM withdrawals, um, car rentals, hotels. That's what officers say. Now Davis has been charged with exploitation of a vulnerable adult and obtaining a signature under false pretenses. So I went. Look through the Bible, something like that. Come on now, because, you know, they had banks back then. <laughs> they had, he, he, hell, they probably had a TD bank back then. I don't even much know, but it's been so long, goddamn. God. I don't know how long they've been around, but, baby, you went up in there claiming to be something that you wasn't, baby. And I think false, literally, they mean like a false prophet. A false prophet, I think they go to hell or something like that. You really can't trust them. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you something. I don't know last time she done been baptized. Listen, because they told us coming up, once you've been saved, you always say <laughs> That's that flash shit, baby. Once you get baptized, you always baptized. Only God know your heart. Can't nobody judge you. All that stuff that as long as as long as you believe Jesus is the Son of the Lord. That's all you need. That the a, a mustard seed of faith. That's all you need to get you into the gates. Don't know why they got gates. Somebody please answer it. I'm just trying. Gated community, heaven. I'm just trying to keep somebody out, keep poking. I don't even know. But, baby, I don't. Maybe you should ask. I don't know. Hell, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe, maybe the Lord told her to do this. A lot of people be telling me that they talk to God and stuff, and I be like, that's what's up. I don't, I don't know your personal life. Do you? Really ain't tripping. Um, so the Lord probably gave her. A prophecy or something like that say, listen, go ahead on the grab there 110, but I want you to go ahead on take 45. And for, like, when you do the 45, make sure you do it through the ATM withdrawals and the car rentals and things of that nature because you do need to get around, so you need a car. And then you got to go to multiple ATMs and stuff like that because you, like, I didn't know TD Bank let out so much on each transaction of ATM. I think like the max is like four, maybe 500, depends on the bank that you deal with or something like that. She probably just hitting them up like every day, like when she out, like in a rental car and stuff or when like she leave the hotel or something, go to the grocery store, get her something to eat and go back to the hotel. You know, she was laying up in the name of the father and stuff. Hell, she'll probably, you know what I'm saying, getting it in with some other parishioners because she got that paper now. That's what such felt like she was balling and stuff. But she love her kinfolk and she love the Lord. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Don't let what the devil, don't let what the devil made her do because she had a spirit on her. This is a spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The spirit 
forced her into doing this if the Lord had not told her to go ahead on the grab that paper. Not because we got to look at things from both sides. And sometimes when you get the spirit of the devil, when you get the spirit of money, because they say the love of money <laughs> can take you to hell. I don't know if that's in the book. I guess it's in Matthew 27 or something flash it like that because that's what we've been hearing out here. The love of money is what's sending you to hell, but I guess the love of people will get you in hell. Mm. Rather trust the money than trust the people. But that's how we taught out here in the Atlanta Street. Um, so as a spirit, so y'all pray for the baby, put some oil on the baby or something like that. We got to get it back in. It's God don't fuck with you like that, baby. Listen, <laughs> listen, baby, Lord don't fuck with you no more. Let, I know, I know you're going to try to get back in the good graces and all that fly shit. You're going to be begging and praying and fake crying and all that fly shit. Getting in the spirit, jump around, hold the spirit. Uh, Speaking in tongues and shit, but don't nobody else understand. We're supposed to have somebody understand it so they can translate the words of Jewish you know, speak in tongues. I get hell. The atheists know some shit. But that's what's up. God don't fuck with you like that, baby. <laughs> God, listen, God don't fuck with a lot of y'all out here in got that screen. I just want to go out and tell you that. I know, I know you think he ride with you. God like it's your own, your own. You chose the route. I'm trying to tell you something. And this is why I be saying, shout out to all the believing. Non-believers, that's what's up. So, baby, listen, you you ain't getting no time because this is like a religious like thing going on, and you know I think like we got the the church and state thing, but oh, you was living in the world, baby. You went into a bank, you mess with folk money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah, yeah, yeah. You. They're going to give you a little something, but baby, they're going to put you right back out there because they're going to be like, well, you, you know, she had the spirit of Satan on us, so we're going to let her go back, give her a second chance, go on back because you got a vagina, baby. I, I know they throw that 40 shit on you. I'm like, mm. they don't be telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I'm trying to tell you something. So, baby, next time, you got to fight that spirit, baby. You got to fight that lust for money spirit, baby. You got to get on your knees. You got to pray. You got to go in the closet like Jesus told y'all, but y'all were trying to pray out loud in front of your goddamn body and think that your thing's going to get answered. That you're going to get your blessings and stuff like that. You say, damn it, all you had to do is ask in Jesus' name, baby, and he would have gave it to you, sure. I guess you couldn't wait. That's what's up. Listen, I appreciate y'all for rocking. I'm out.